remaining. I don't know what good God will work from the evil terror of 9-11. But I know something I saw on 9-11 and on 9-12, and this is the 10th anniversary of the day we came together as a nation like I'd never seen before. I went into the Army on active duty after Vietnam was over. It was not a good time to be in the military at all. We were sometimes ordered not to wear our uniforms off post at Fort Riley, occasionally at Fort Benning, because of violence that could be inflicted on military members if they were caught by themselves. It was not a good time. Been spit on in uniform, it was not a good time to be in the military. I, I really didn't think I would ever see the level of patriotism again that people saw after World War II, and then came 9-11. And people in this country that had called police and law enforcement pigs, people who had been irritated and angry at fire department personnel because they were slowing things down, getting in the way, people who were upset with ambulances and EMTs for getting in their way, People who were upset with the military had a new, profound appreciation like could never have happened without those evil men committing those acts of hatred. That night of uh, September 11, 10 years ago, I went to a church I was not a member of, and we prayed, people from all walks, all ages, all races, we prayed together, we held hands, we asked God for protection like the children of Israel did when they knew they had no other place to turn but then the God Jehovah. And the next day in our town square, like thousands and thousands of town squares around America, we gathered, we prayed, we spoke, we sang Amazing Grace, we sang God Bless America, that is a prayer. We held hands and it hit me. Martin Luther King Jr. had a dream of someday seeing people judge for the content of their character, not the color of their skin. And as I held hands and looked around at all these hundreds of people in our town square holding hands and being of one heart, it hit me a small glimpse of the dream he had. And it's beautiful. That day there were no Euro-Americans, there were no Anglo-Americans, African-Americans, Asian-Americans, Native Americans. There were no hyphenated Americans 10 years ago today. We were Americans, and may God grant that we will return to that sense of unity and purpose once again. Thank you. I yield back.